One and two now as that one's fouled off. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Toronto nothing. Sox coming to bat. You've got it tuned to Major League Baseball, the show. Dakota Hudson, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Kind of a strange outing in his last one, Matt. Was able to pitch into the sixth inning. Wasn't able to complete the inning. It kind of got away from him in the sixth. It'll be interesting, Matt, to see how he bounces back in this one. And now the center fielder, Johnny Damon's in to kick off the home half of the first. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Another 0 2 home. Now a swing and a miss by Damon as he set down on strikes and there's one away. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. First pitch on the way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, d -Row, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. Here's a fly ball well hit. Brock ranges back on the warning track. He makes the catch. That is good. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. Jackson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. Still no score. All set for the start of the inning, and here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Now here's the first offering. And here's a fastball from Hamels to begin the at bat as he climbs ahead nothing and one. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Hey I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball really being aggressive right now a lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it one gone if you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling keep throwing it right there three fastballs in a row he gone And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. 
as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one the average has been good 306 to start the day six home runs and 14 driven in. The 1 0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Hamill's ready with the 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. The batter will be Shane Victorino, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the stretch. Late decision to swing that time and as a result it's 0 and 2. Good job of holding up on the low ball there and it's 1 and 2. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. No balls in one strike. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. Four home runs and a dozen RBIs. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Misses ball two. Fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. Again, another foul ball. The two two one more time. Is swung on and missed strike three. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep his game tight. At the plate, Jose Iglesias. As Hamels will jump ahead of him, it's 0-1. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And it's one and one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Bregman on second. Victorino at first, two out in the inning. Did out towards second. Throw on to first is in time, and the Toronto rally goes for naught as the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The right fielder, J.D. Martinez.
first pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out to left field. And it's gone into the monster seats. So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number five on the year. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Here now is Rafael Devers. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Another one sent foul. And that one yanked just foul. The next 0 2. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The 0 2 once more. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Now a swinging bunt. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Line shot to first, and there's one away. That is good. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. And surprisingly today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm. But I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw over to Gehrig, and that's half number two. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He's looking to extend that hitting streak, which stands at eight games coming in. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We play two. Now 1 0 Boston. Now to bat, Manny Pena, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Manny. Here's the first pitch to him. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now the one and one pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 
Martinez giving chase and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And with one away time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Back to the top of the order now and that'll bring in Jimmy Rollins. First pitch on its way. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Line towards center field, and that drops in front of Damon, a base hit. Now that the left fielder. To the plate now, Lou Brock. And there he goes towards second. In there. Now the throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag. So let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. The 0 1. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Into the box Lou Gehrig as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for one here in the early going. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. One two pitch he got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger more matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. You ain't from where you say you from. You ain't from where you say you from. We don't believe that. You ain't from where you say you from. Now to the plate, here is Christian Vasquez. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Back goes Victorino. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So to get his day started at the plate, Dylan Moore trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Victorino, and it bangs off the monster. And they'll get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a single. Uh, it's one of the beauties of playing in Fenway right there. Most places, that's a double or a home run. But at Fenway, you're coming out of the box thinking, can I make it to second? Because if it caroms, and that left fielder fields it cleanly, you're dead to rights at second base. I mean, that's a heck of a job to hold him in this thing. In now, Johnny Damon. Moore leads off first with one away. Into the corner and slicing foul. 
Hey, I noticed pitcher's getting ahead right here. He's got the hitter down 0-2, but to this guy in the box, might want to just live on the corners a little bit more. You keep missing down the middle, something's not coming back. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. The 0 2 once more. Rip down the first base line. Oh, and he can't come up with it. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Set and the pitch. 0 and 1 the count. Looking at his career totals, Simmons carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Now the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Line to left. Runner tags from second as the catch is made here shy of the track. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Now back. Stepping in once again is David Ortiz. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Yeah, and he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field sixth home run on the season for him as the Red Sox open it up even further it's now four nothing. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run and you see it there 111 miles an hour off the bat he certainly squared that one up well. And that'll now bring up J.D. Right Martinez. JD. And he turns Martinez. this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Victorino to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. We played three full. It's now 4 nothing Boston. New inning set to get underway and standing in is the veteran outfielder Reggie Jackson. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now got to be honest the odds are obviously stacked against them but I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game maybe they don't but I want to see what kind of at bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good productive A.B. to get this team going. Down the left field line and deep. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Drilled to the right side. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0 and 2 count into a leadoff base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment and able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Thank you. 
And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. Strike one to start the at bat. Jackson aboard here at first with nobody out. Counts even oh. one and one to Alex Bregman. Now a change up but it misses just a little below the zone. And this is on the ground to short could be two to second for one on to first to complete the double play. Two are gone now in the Blue Jays half of the fourth. And that'll bring up Shane Victorino. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a flare down the line. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. The third baseman. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. The 0 1 on its way. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2. On the ground to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Fourth home run here in the early going as the Red Sox break on top now five to nothing. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 0 1. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now that the catcher. Next to hit is Christian Vasquez. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. Bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. 
We play four, and the lead is now five nothing. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the Leading fifth. The and that'll field. give way to the veteran the second, second baseman, baseman Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 2. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Stepping in next, Jose Iglesias. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Hits are even right now at five aside. Hit in the air down the right field line. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The catcher, number and now in the box, Manny Pena flew out in his only at bat so far. And the pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Moore onto the grass. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed them, and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch. Hard to keep that up over several innings, though. Here comes Jimmy Rollins. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the A.B. now. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. Pina leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Blue Jays shortstop with a 1-2 and count. Two count. One and two. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. The left fielder, number 20, Lee Hunt. Stepping in now, Lou Brock. Popped him up. Devers in foul ground and he's got it for the final out of the frame. Blue Jays leave a pair. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Dylan Moore. Second baseman, Dylan Moore. Now here's the first offering.
left side. Fielded cleanly. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop, and the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Standing in now, Johnny Damon. And right into the shift. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And now the first pitch. In the air, down the line in left. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. To the left side, but it's well foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And here's another ball well hit. This one to left field. The onslaught will continue as this is going to be another home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Second home run early in the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Tyler Webb gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. At the plate now, David Ortiz, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. The pitch. A little bouncer. Here's another 0 2. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. The 0 2 once more. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Here's the 0 and 2. Yanked hard but foul to the right. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Ready with the 0 2. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the I inning win, is win. over. Again and again, but add on again, one more as the solo wins. shot stretches their lead play, even further like through now five innings, and this enemies. is now a 6 0 ball game. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and here comes the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. Now here it comes. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Shot to third and handled for the first out. 
One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And that's taken up and in for ball two. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. So now to the plate, Alex Bregman. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0 and 1. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And that misses one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Strike two taken a fastball that clips the inside black. Hey one strike away from six shutout innings against this lineup. We have a gem on our hands and the bull. Uh, we'll have to press pause is that strike three to retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're flat out doing an outstanding job at picking on pitches that they can do something with, and by that, he means pitches inside the strike zone. The numbers definitely back that up as well. Less than 10% of their swings have been at pitches outside the zone. For comparison, the major league average is somewhere around 30 percent, something they want to keep up as this game progresses, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. Webb rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Rafael. Devers. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a liner. But this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here it comes, 0 and 2.
Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Up next for the Red Sox. Riding in for Boston, Xander Bogarts. A hit in two tries for him so far. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Digging in, the switch hitter, Shane Victorino. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these A-Bs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced so far. Ball one. And it's fouled away. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Martinez. He's there and records the first down. Now One gone in the inning please. now, and here's Didi Gregorius. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the one two ground ball sent back up the middle taken in by Simmons throw on to first and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. The batter, and now Jose Iglesias he comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And now the first pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike, 1 and 1. And he popped him up. Moore moving to his left, and he makes the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They still find themselves down six zip. Digging in will be Andrew Benintendi. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Andrew Benintendi. First offering on its way. Here comes the 0 1. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch and another foul ball. And boy what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats still stuck on 0 and 2 and the pitch another foul ball and this battle will continue. Ready with another 0 2. Grounded up the first baseline. And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. 
And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. He kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Swung on and hit deep to left center. And it's off the green monster. The throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Man, it's like deja vu all over again. Two well hit back to back doubles that bring in a run. This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swings against him. So now to the plate, Dylan Moore. Here's a fly ball well hit. Brock ranges back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Awesome play right there. You think about this one during batting practice. The only problem, the Green Monster, 37 no feet of concrete and plastic. But he had no fear jumping into the wall for that one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Johnny Damon, he bounced out last time up. And now the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. Vasquez, the runner at second with one away. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0 and 2. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Tapper up the line. That rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. High in the air down the right field line. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone? Or is the hitter going to come outside it? Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here comes another 0 2. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. You take the mound every half inning as a pitcher hoping to get out of the inning in nine or fewer pitches. This guy at the plates fouled nine balls off. This at bat is epic. The 0 2 once more. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Another 0 and 2 coming. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here's another 0 2. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now no, with no. one away. It's the best competition in all of sport, the pitcher against the batter right there. He fouled off multiple pitches, refused to go down. Not only did he get a knock, but he ran some pitch total up too. To the plate now, Andrelton Simmons. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point.
Ready with the 0 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A line shot to third base. Next to stand in is David Ortiz. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. Three run home run down the line and right. His second home run of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Must have been a good batting practice session today for this club. Five home runs in one game. You could just see it as the game was going on. Those hitters, they couldn't wait to get to the bat rack. It was like a fight to get up there and to get into the batter's box. Jose Cisnero comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now batting, right fielder. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as the blowout continues. Guys, you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Batty, this is crazy. Damn, what does the pitching coach say at this point? Right now, the oh, only thing he can't say is pick up that bullpen phone oh, and look for reinforcements oh, because this has gotten Never. really ugly, and this is a nightmare for a pitching coach. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Oh, could it be three in a row? Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! You got to be kidding me. Back to back to back home runs. It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers. Sixth home run on the season for him as this lead got even wider. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Oh, Matty B, this has turned into a lopsided one here. How about this, d -Row? Seventh home run of this game alone. This is crazy. They knew coming in they had the lineup to do damage, but this is getting absolutely out of hand right now. This guy is missing over the heart of the plate. This trend could continue. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is hit high and deep out to left. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. Throw into second. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two out double. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Ty Buttry enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 
at the plate Andrew Benintendi he swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play it was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Hit in the air down the right field line. Andrew Benintendi, a two run shot. Home run number three here in the early going as they just continue to pour it on here. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Is this a live baseball game or are they taking batting practice right now? Zero. Somebody help oh. me out. This is one of those zero where they say yeah, it's man. good weather for a snowman, right? That A spot looks like a snowman in the scorebook. Eight bombs so far in this game alone. Crazy. He doubled his last time through. Set. Here's the 0-1, and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Brock is there to make the catch and mercifully the side is finally retired. Big inning for him though as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Eighth inning coming up. Boston's out in front 14 to nothing. Leading off to Toronto. The catcher number 13. Manny. And now the first pitch. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Standing in now, Jimmy Rollins, as he grounds one briskly to short. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row. Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lou Brock is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1 and 0. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. 2 and 0 to the Jays' left fielder. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. 
Pena over at second. Rollins at first with no outs. And this one's over at the knees, two and one. Well, the Blue Jays have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. They're hoping they get it right now. This would sure be a good time. Two one pitches that circle change swung on and missed two and two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the run is Damon. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Next, it'll be Lou Gehrig, and he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First pitch coming, here it is. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Martinez. He's there to make the catch and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Reggie Jackson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering lays off one and oh. Hey this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath something can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge not only himself his defense and especially his manager. Now the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. The 3 0. That one's in there. 3 and 1. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard to third. Devers has it. Oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Well, that's always the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game, so you lose focus a little bit in the field. And sometimes as a player, you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game so you stay sharp. At the plate now, Alex Bregman, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He went down on strikes last time up. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. On to Lansdowne and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left seven home runs for him on the year now but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Yeah all things considered it's been a day to forget for them so this homer will be a welcome to everyone in that dugout maybe this gives them a little momentum going into the next game. Now at the plate here is Shane Victorino and the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball we thought maybe they'd go and get him but no indication of that yet. Yeah to me that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit and it's typically the command that starts slipping when. He 
He's ready. Here's the first pitch. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. On to first and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. But four runs score in the inning three coming right here on the three run home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight the Red Sox lead it 14 to four. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and set to go is the second baseman Dylan Moore. First delivery to him. No balls in one strike. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D Roy, I, I, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two strike pitch. No get me over curveballs, no get me over changeups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Fourth home run here in the early going as the blowout continues. If you've lost count it's understandable that was their ninth home run of the game. Can you believe what we're seeing in this. Can you believe what we're seeing out of this lineup today guys. Yeah Matty V. Well d -Row, you kind of expect a high scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah it changes your whole mindset. Right centers out of the equation. Dead right fields out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole. You're looking to pepper now that green monster. In now Johnny Damon yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. No outs, nobody on. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. Gone! So a solo home run for Johnny Damon. Second home run early in the year as this lead got even wider. This has almost been a superhuman performance from this lineup. Ten home runs in the game. When's the last time you can remember a team knocking that many balls out of the park? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Next, it'll be David Ortiz. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according now to the umpire. Right Sometimes field. it can be really tough Yankee. for these big, strong guys because Mark once they're yeah. committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Now here's the pitch. 
into center field line drive base hit. So with that we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Dan right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you Dero. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. On a line, that's a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Just an absolute no laser no that two. time, screaming Tip off the bat, here. if you will. And Show Track tells us it went out at 112 oh, miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. So now to the plate, Xander Bogarts. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Brock gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Ninth inning coming up. The Red Sox on top, 16 to 4. Here's Didi Gregorius starting things for his side Didi in the ninth as they face the, the improbable base. odds of Didi. trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Trevor May comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first pitch and right into the shift. But a foul ball here. Owen one. Hit in the air to right field. Martinez has a read on it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that Coming forward now the Toronto designated Jose. hitter Jose Iglesias in his career against this pitcher he's one for five. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Nope. And this is low nope. ball one. High in the air down the right field line. Martinez on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now back. Blue Jays down to their Manny. final out now. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game, but that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. Into the box now, Jimmy Rollins, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1 0 home. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. Kenya, the runner at first with two gone. Fouled off. Now, what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet.
He stays alive, still two and two. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 16 to 4 this afternoon. Boston will be the talk of the game after this one, having launched 10 balls over the wall in total. Paul Hamels earns the win his second as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Dakota Hudson struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachty, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Que pueden balbulear Yo siempre por chela se trevo el Roll Roy El bote parqueado en San Croy Viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy Yo tranquilo en la mía que estoy El Richard Zafiro, Dios más los bendiga Mis hijos no nacen otro como Floyd Time of the ball game 3 hours and 55 minutes Thank you for joining us here this afternoon And we remind you to please Right now Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Looking first at the American League East, David Ortiz dominated at the dish with two long balls and six RBIs as the Red Sox were victorious over the Blue Jays, 16 to four. The Atlanta Braves smacked 15 team hits as they took down the Yankees in the Bronx, 13 to six. The Royals beat the visiting Rays, five to one. The Miami Marlins finished off a two-game sweep as they took down the visiting Orioles 8-4. The White Sox totaled 13 hits as a team as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland 9-6. The Pirates amassed 14 hits in the game as they took down the Tigers in Detroit 7-4. The Rangers pulled off the win against the Angels in Orange County 5-2. The Twins got 11 hits overall as they defeated the A's in Oakland 3-2. The Giants pounded out 17 hits in this one as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park, 12 to seven. The St. Louis Cardinals took down the Nationals in Washington, four to one. The New York Mets knocked out 10 hits as a team as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field, seven to four. The Arizona Diamondbacks hit three long balls as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, seven to six. The Astros completed a short two-game sweep as they took care of the Rocks in Colorado, 5-2. The Padres racked up 11 hits as a team as they got the best of the Brewers at home, 8-7. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back here tomorrow and all season long.